Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, a common question that I get asked is how severe does a blockage have to be on the angiogram before we have to treat it, for example, with a stent? So looking at angiograms, we base a lot of our determination of how severe a blockage is really on experience and visual assessment. So when we look at an angiogram, essentially we're injecting dye into the arteries around the heart, and we've had separate videos on what an angiogram is, but that dye injection allows visualization of the lumen of the artery, which is obviously the, the area where blood is traveling, and whilst we're injecting contrast, we're actually displacing blood from that artery momentarily to allow the contrast to fill the artery so we can see it on the x-ray. And the x-ray is the machine that moves on top of the patient around taking various pictures from different angles. So when we look at an artery and we're injecting the dye, if there's no narrowing within that artery, then essentially there, there won't be any major blockage. However, when the artery becomes narrowed by usually more than about 70%, so essentially 70% blocked, 30% open, that is what we assess as being a severe blockage. So normally a 70% or more blockage is one that has been validated in several studies to show that that does translate into a significant blockage that is affecting blood flow to the heart muscle that often warrants treatment, whether it be with medication, with stents, or with a bypass operation. Now, in areas where the blockage is moderate, and by moderate we talk about 50% up to you know 65, 70%, well, then there is an extra tool we can use if there's any doubt on the angiogram, whether it is a severe blockage or not. We can perform a test called a pressure wire. And the wire that your cardiologist will tell you about is one that goes through the artery and essentially down all the way and it measures the pressure before an area of blockage and then compares it to the one after the blockage. So essentially, if there's no blockage or narrowing there causing any impairment of flow, then there won't be really any pressure drop. The pressure at the top end will be the same as the pressure getting down to the bottom end. However, when that blockage becomes more significant and there's a pressure drop, then that gives us an indication that that artery is causing an impairment of blood flow and that often warrants treatment with, for example, a stent. So it's done visually, done by experience of your cardiologist. There are other ways we can have to assess that with computers using what we call quantitative coronary angiography, or QCA. It takes a little bit of time, but essentially that allows the computer to process the measurements, and it comes up with a, a value of you know 66.6% .6 blockage and we can use that as a tool as well. But most of it's done visually by looking at the arteries. We can assess whether an artery has mild plaque, moderate plaque, or severe plaque or narrowing that is causing a problem that does need treatment. So hopefully you found that useful. Till the next video, bye for now.